Hi, my name is Yasu, and I do Hitorigoto in this channel from Japan. <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit messed up here.、Uh, I just had a lunch in,、uh, not lunch, but a breakfast in Nagoya, which has a lot of carb, cream, and then azuki anko. I think it's a typical Nagoya breakfast, and it's so delicious, however, like so much sugar and so on. But anyway, So, today I want to talk about、um, how my recovery has been on my, how do I call it in English? It's like par, parotid、uh, gun tumor. So,、um, more than a year ago, I, I had a limp. I found a limp in this area, parotid gun tumor. And then I, I had went through so many、uh, examinations and everything, and then finally they really、uh, nailed down that I have this tumor,、uh, partoid gland tumor, which is a very、uh, rare tumor.、So, uh, at least, like, going to my doctor and everything that I have searched for,、uh, it happens one in 100,000 people chances, and then there is no. Genetic correlation or any kind of like lifestyle or environmental factors contributing to this、uh, special tumor, rare tumor. So it, it just happened to me, and it, it, was, it, was, it was quite shocking. But what happened is what happened. So I underwent the surgery for the first time ever, I went through the、uh, general anesthesia. I was hospitalized in for like for a week, and then they cut me open here, like 20 centimeter, and then remove everything.、Uh, the final biopsy、uh, confirmed that it, has, it had not become a cancer yet, so、uh, everything turned out to be、uh, good. And although like it, it got paralyzed here because all of the face nerves. Apparently, in central, it's kind of here. So, to open and remove tissues and everything,、uh, one of the huge,、um, not side effects, but like possible after surgery、uh, damage could be that、uh, half of my face could be kind of like paralyzed. But、uh, after one year, If I touch here, I can feel a little bit numb compared to this side that they didn't really touch anything. And then also, I can feel like the texture of my, not skin, but probably underneath the skin、uh, because they cut the tissue and of course it got retouched automatically, but it's different <laughs> from. The part of my skin, the area that they didn't cut anything at all. So, if I touch, I can really feel something. However,、um, I just look like this. So, I guess I'm lucky enough to、uh, have recovered really well. So, that part,、um, the last、uh, doctor appointment was、uh, December 2023. And then she confirmed everything that I don't have to go back to the hospital for this one anymore. So, after one year, everything seems to be、uh, good, very、uh, stable. I, I really noticed that I actually went through that kind of major surgery and everything、uh, because.、Um, It just becomes part of me here. And also, like, as if you happen to watch my other videos, the, my main focus right now is to、uh, handle the depressions and also sleep disorder, and they also sleep a lot, testosterone level, the male, male menopause situations, which is a very Crazy situations because I don't know what else I can do.、Uh, by the time that、uh, I post this video, I should be already talking about, I should have already talked about how I have 
tapered off my effects and real focusing on the sleep disorder, uh, no, 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 um, depressions successfully so far. But in terms of the male menopause, the testosterone, super low testosterone situations with me, um, testosterone replacement therapy unfortunately has not been effective in my case and then I decided to agree with my doctor to just stop the testosterone replacement therapy because it's just it, it, it doesn't do anything good to me anymore whether those depressions sleep disorders super low testosterone level is associated with this tumor or surgery or anything it's impossible to tell because the I didn't really check my testosterone level before surgery so there's nothing to compare and there is always assumptions and probably like the surgery and everything um, stressed me out psychologically and physically so much to the point that I could kind of I broke down but it's just all the theory and I'm just trying to live day by day to take care of everything one by one gradually moving forward so I'm glad to actually say that after one year I barely noticed that I went through the major surgery. I feel a little bit numb here still if I touch, but if I don't touch, I don't remember or I usually forget about the fact that I actually went through those kind of major surgery or I had those rare tumor. So, which is a good thing. So what I wanna say in the end of this uh, video always is that when you take a shower and wash your hair or wash your face please check around this area always kind of touch a little bit and make sure that there is no lumps or anything like that but if one day you feel something don't underestimate or don't wait just go to see a doctor and have it checked and if somehow the doctor says that let's just wait to see how if you know it's gonna get bigger or not don't wait uh, make sure that you would get the uh, ultrasound uh, examinations here to figure out how deep the lumps actually is located in your skin if it's in deeper, uh, it's most likely uh, two more. The ultrasound echo examination can really say uh, tell you a lot of things, and it's it's always better to know at the early stage, so that you can consider a lot of options whether you what kind of. Uh, treatment options you're gonna choose and then um, uh, you can actually have enough time to figure out what to do with it and if the tumor is uh, small there is a higher chance for you to get recovered um, at the very night under in, in very nice conditions I think in my case I can say that that was my case but this thing has nothing to do with my genetics or like how my lifestyle or um, my environmental factors because um, it's still unknown why it happens to people and it just so happens so rarely like one in 100,000 people and because it's a, such a rare case I don't think a study on this tumor has been conducted that often and then because it's so rare I don't think um, researchers or medical experts will put so much resources into it so 
what it is, what it is. All we can do is um, check here every day. If there is something, go to see our doctors. And that, the reason that why I say we means I ask my doctors that, will this come back to me? And then my doctor says that uh, it's less likely, but it can happen. And then there is no way for anybody to take precautions or preventions because we don't know why it happens. So I also need to be careful. And I really want you to be careful. And on top of that, I really want you to pursue your health as the most important things in your life because without good health, you don't really get to enjoy your life. And then if you become unhealthy, the loved ones, of course, they're going to worry about you and it's going to affect you. And then you guys really have to go through a lot of a tough time together, which nobody is meant to have that kind of life. So please really take care of yourself. Uh, that's the message that I want to actually send. And then as always, uh, please take care of yourself. And if you feel like it, please subscribe to my channel. So thank you for watching my video. So for now, Jane. Bye bye.